name's Keith Myers. I'm joint director with my wife of the Myers Touch. We're in Winchester in Hampshire. KBSA, it's a big surprise to me, um, gave me the award for Kitchen Design of the Year over £50,000. We actually haven't won a lot of awards. This is the first time the Myers Touch has ever won a design award. No stranger to entering awards. Uh, <laughs> you know, getting to the final these days of an award competition is actually really difficult. So I've kind of got to the place now over the years where if we've got into the final of something, we've really won. Uh, this is working for a developer that is uh, in Ascot. We've only done really one-off homes with them and they're always quite high end and they're a great developer because they think like us and they invest in design which is unusual actually not all developers do I mean in the big one-off houses you kind of have to do that and you're given a floor plan from the developer and say okay this is the space there was a predefined um, kitchens living dining space in an L shape um, which was um, which was great to see the plans before we see the client and then they introduce us to the client the way this the developer does the home situation is there they they give them the skin and they will allow them to make changes internally and develop and they'll charge them for some of them but not for all of them whenever we're doing a project the first thing that we look at is the architecture and we test the architecture is the architecture right for what the client is doing for what they're wanting her, her brief was mainly pinterest board of things she liked and it's a great way to when you're kind of talking about product and styles and that sort of thing to use and talk through with the client and asking client to put up the pictures that they like um or some of even the pictures that stir them in some way they don't know why they like it they just like it and then we try and tease that out of them clients generally come to us product led that's normally normally what their very first approach you kind of have to let them have their peace to a point because they're bursting at the seams when they talked about their kitchen. And this particular lady was absolutely lovely. And what she did is she had a Pinterest board ready and she said, right, let, let me tell you what my ideas are, what my thoughts are. And say, okay, well, let's hear what you have to say. Because there, we have to, in order to get the best design, we have to collaborate really well with the client. And some clients know nothing about design and aren't really that, interested in the sense that they they can't input into it but they know what they like and what they don't like so we spent time going through with her talking about what she wanted and kind of stars and things like this and then we went right the way back up to the top and said okay right that's been really interesting on your pinterest board stuff let's pause that for a moment let's say okay when you walk into the kitchen how do you want to feel and then you just wait and you listen wanted an in-frame kitchen and she had a feel of a color palette that she wanted to do through what she's wanted. She had this big wine fridge. And it's a monster thing, actually. And its capacity is very, very low, actually. So it's purely about displaying a few bottles of wine in a wine cabinet. And then, as ever, you know, we had a, a budget to work to. So we sat down and we started working with the client on the different things that she was trying to achieve. And then we just blew her budget out of the water by about £20,000. So then we had to scale it back down again. The door coming into the kitchen from a, a like a utility room, um, which we actually asked the field if we could move it, which he agreed with. So we were able to do that. And also we wanted to move the window position going out, to move the patio doors going out onto the, the back of the house. So we could make the kitchen work a little bit better for us. So we we did that. Once you've got that set, you then start to work out. Well, they obviously you have to at one point, you know, once you've got the emotion and feelings of a of a project of how it's working, you you then extend into the whole place of, um, okay, well this is a practical space and we need to know how many ovens you want and dishwashers, all that sort of stuff. You know, how many people you want to sit around the bar. Obviously, that side has to come, but it isn't where you start. Don't do a huge amount of in frame. So actually, to do a, a really nice in frame kitchen, um, and it was all bespoke made, um, handmade, was lovely to do. I like the color and the contrast between the two, uh, the bank of units and the and the base units. Like the wine fridge, you could uh, uh, probably a hundred bottle integrated fridge in there for probably less money, and. Um, and take up um, take up less space. I think it's a really lovely thing when a client really liking something to the point they're prepared to waste a bit of space on something. I'm going up to Grand Design and I'm there for uh, three lectures called Creating Kitchens with Light, Space and Laughter, which is our philosophy about how we approach design. We approach it, design differently to the general marketplace. It takes the approach away from the product it really kind of sums up what we mean by we don't sell kitchens. And then the other um, talk I'm doing is called Do Designers Play It Safe? 
really what I'm trying to say is in our industry is differentiating between what I call a kitchen planner and a kitchen designer. A designer would be obvious. It's someone who is a phenomenal at design and really looks at every single project as a complete um, uh, blank sheet of paper and is really exploring and investigating the client's needs quite deeply and then using um, their creative skills plus input from the client and other professionals around architect or interior design, whatever, whoever might be there, to create something quite exceptional. A kitchen planner is someone who sticks boxes on walls. <laughs> it just encourages consumers to, to really work with a designer, someone who is um, expert, qualified, experienced, award-winning, of course, um, to be able to um, create an exceptional space for the room in their home that they spend the most money.